Yo, what's up guys? Chase the Bro here. Welcome back to another Dark Souls 3 Weapon Showcase. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Morning Star. Yet another weapon I very rarely see in PvP. I will see the mace from time to time and they are basically the same. The difference is being that the mace actually has a few more AR points on the exact same stat investment. Around 21. And the Morning Star has bleed buildup. Which can be pretty useful, you know. Hammers have the really good R1s. Honestly, the R1 is basically the highlight of the hammer class, I would say. When two-handed, you get hyper armor. You'll never really see me use like the mace, the morning star, or even the reinforced club one-handed, because they don't actually get their hyper armor like they do when you two-hand them. So the, the two-handed moveset on the standard hammers is definitely the way to go. Uh, it has great roll catch potential. The, the stagger from the R1 landing actually is pretty immense, so it's really easy to roll catch with it. You could even do 3R1 sometimes, and the third one will even roll catch them because of the, the lunge you take forward as you slam down the Morning Star. The range is pretty good, and you can often catch it with the third R1. Um, the R2s aren't really much to speak of. I don't use them much. They're very slow, and the overall range of the R1 actually just seems to be just better. <laughs> um, it does also have Perseverance, one of the stronger points of uh, the Morning Star and the Mace. So they can easily trade with Ultra Great Swords if you want to. You can just stagger the hit, um, roll catch them afterwards, and you'll you'll out DPS them for sure. Uh, this is the build that I have going on for the Morning Star. It is on a strength build, and I did compare it uh, to see if it would be better refined or on a dexterity build. And you can make the sharp version actually pretty much as strong as the heavy, but there is a lot more stat investment. 60 strength versus something like 80 dex will get you the same uh, damage output. Not exactly, so I think the heavy version will always be better. Less stat investment for higher AR. You could also elementally infuse it if you prefer, but I do like uh, my hyper armor type training weapons to be on my strength build since I'm tankier, so my defenses are much higher on this build than most of my others. Uh, this is the rest of the build. I usually use the Prisoner's Chain, Ring of Favor, Life Ring, or Havels if I'm using heavy weaponry, but for a lot of the showcases, I, I wear the Life Ring. And then my fourth ring, I just switch up to whatever you're, uh, I'm feeling. I start off with the Lloyd Shield for the, the absorption boost. And then I swap to maybe Horn or Ring, Life Ring, or whatever I'm Depending on the weapon that I'm using is what my last ring I'll swap to. But yeah, let's just give it some battle tests in the arena. Let's go. Alright, round one. Uh, and another quick tip that I forgot to mention just right before we got into this was that the bleed buildup can be pretty useful against shields. So we'll see if we find any turtles that we can try and proc the bleed on. Just as an added bonus to the Morning Star over the mace. Um... Hello? Sir? Why does everyone run up? Isn't it easier to just run through the middle? Wouldn't you think? See, this is where the third R1 comes in handy. If you delay it for like a slight second, <laughs> as you can see, you can easily roll catch anyone that especially rolls towards you. It will often catch them on the roll away as well on the third hit, but if they roll towards you, it's almost guaranteed that the third one's going to hit them. Alright, on to round two. That was honestly kind of funny. We won that last fight with basically just our ones. Hello there, sir. How are you? Hello, man. Why, why can't I lock onto him? Oh, it's the range. What up, dude? Alright, so we got another PK. Well, not another one. We've just seen a lot of those in the past uh, weapon showcases, I would say. There was the guy that we used the short sword against. And then, um, I'm trying to remember another one. Hey, Primer. You don't want any of the, the mace? You could have got a swing off there. Why not go for it? Prisoner? <laughs> Ooh, our net. Yes. All right. I now, though, what's really funny is I didn't even mean to block it with the Morning Star. <laughs> it just happened to attack after I persevered. I bet you he'll get caught by the- oh, he happened to roll diagonally. That is the best uh, counter, I would say, to it. Yeah, hyper armor is a thing, my lad. And there's the third hit stagger. See? It is- it's just a great tool. The R1 can roll catch on its own. You don't have to do much about it. And... And we have perseverance to pressure when we need to. <laughs> he is smart to run away from it, though. He could have got maybe a good counter hit right there. He didn't go for it though. Ah, uh, see, curve sword running attacks are great, but you actually don't get priority on the R1 after the running attack. 
So most weapons that have early hyper armor frames, you can trade the next, their follow up R1. <laughs> Alright, on to round three. What will we see this time? Let's not forget our tears. And our blue juice. Will they meet me in the middle? Find out. Oh! Hello there, Sanguinius. How are you, man? How are you? <laughs> Alright, let's do it. This time I'm not gonna forget my uh, Lloyd Children. Kya. 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 <laughs> see, this is. Oh, this is perfect! We were talking about this. Um, how I wanted to see how the bleed would proc. Oh, but he needs to shield. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, so we're winning those trades. Um, fist weapons will bounce off of pe uh, Perseverance, where mine won't. So even if we do trades with Purse, uh, we're going to win it. Kya. Look, R1. R1 the way. <laughs> Fun fight, man. That was a, an interesting fight. Very interesting. Don't quite know what he was going for, actually. Oh, yes! I wanted to test the bleed on the last shield user, but we just had a Perseverance War instead. But the Havel here might give me a chance. Havel, you gotta put up your shield dog. Please, be defensive. <laughs> I really want to test it. I don't want to kill you with uh, anything else. I want to see if I can actually proc, proc the bleed on this thing. Ah, oh, but you put it away. Yes! No, put it back. Well, whatever. <laughs> we'll get a backstab. Maybe that'll make him put his shield up more because he's weak, you know? And he put the shield away entirely. All right, well, GG. No bleed proc, though, even though we did hit him quite a bit on the shield and the crit and the actual hits. I probably won't since its bleed buildup is so tiny, but, you know, I just wanted to see. <laughs> hmm, could we maybe get Havel again? More shield users, please, Arena. Ooh, what's this? Buttered Mushroom. <laughs> Alright, Buttered Mushroom. That's an interesting build. I don't know what you're doing, but let me just put on my defense ring because that shit's gonna hurt. Not as much as mine, though. <laughs> Yo, honestly, it's really funny. <laughs> He's wearing the uh, Lothric Long Spear on his back for extra poise. But Perseverance just kind of wins those trades. <laughs> it did take him a while to get staggered, though. We were basically just trading our ones. <laughs> Fun fight, though, man. Aww, Ring Knight cosplay. Ring Knight cosplay. Nice. Hey, what's up, dude? How goes your day, man? Um, I have the probably the worst weapon that you would ever fight. <laughs> with that cosplay and I feel extremely bad about it, but it is, it is what it is. It's just your luck. Unfortunate ring knight. The worst thing you could have came up against. Perseverance. You don't, you don't use the ring knight paired ultras L1 against Perseverance. You'll always lose the trade, sadly. You know what I just realized? We fought two cosplay builds. Havel? And Ring Knight. <laughs> what are the odds? Hello, man. What is up? I oh, got another interesting weapon. Oh, I thought he might keep it on, but he didn't. <laughs> hey, look. First war. You're the second one of the day. <laughs> oh, God. That is probably another really, really bad weapon to be using against this. I mean, it'll trade well, but... Oops, didn't mean to R1. But he loses so much stamina when he trades. If he happens to get the shield block, that is. You have to get the shield block. Even then, though, like... <laughs> the weapon I'm using just does so much stamina damage on hit. And it's just made to tank and trade. Very fun fight, though, man. Very fun fight. I don't see the Valor Heart much. That is also very rare. I enjoy that. Oh, Rune Sentinel, possibly? No. <laughs> hey, man. How are you? What? What? A gift! All right, here. You take my gift, I take your gift. I mean, I can't use that, though. I totally would. 
But I can't. I'm in a weapon showcase. I'm so sorry. <laughs> take, take my gift. <laughs> yuck, yuck, yuck. <laughs> yuck, yuck. I love this guy. He's so funny. <laughs> One of my favorites so far. <laughs> Amazing fight, buttered mushroom. Oh, wait, I already had one though. <laughs> In your honor. <laughs> what the hell? So, all right, final arena match. I'm not gonna forget the invasion. We have the invasion afterwards as well. Oh, hello, buttered mushroom? No. <laughs> Zucchini juice. Let's go, man. I'm not a huge fan of zucchini though. Anybody else? Like, it's okay. R1. Fun <laughs> fight, zucchini juice. I don't think I've ever tried zucchini juice though. Oh, nice. We got it. A, a Ring City invasion. I don't know what it's trying to say. Shine. Alright, Shine. I got a little morning star for you. <laughs> that sounds like it's gonna hurt me. Oh, wait, no, it's the Ring Knight. <laughs> My uh, survival instincts. Hello, Red. Oh, this is a full world. Let's go. Pepe. Pepe Le Pew. Yeah, gun to your charger right off the bat. Oh. Nice pivot backstab. Oh my god, the host is dead. Oh, wait, that wasn't the host. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh, I didn't really get to do anything. He landed a nice gun to your charge, though. Oh my god, our connection must be so bad for it to be looking like this. <laughs> this. This serves me right. I'm invading at stupid times. Where are you aiming that? <laughs> I wonder what our connection's like if I test it with a shiv. Okay, me and this guy are fine. No, we're not fine, but we're something. I'm just going to person trade. Well, maybe not fully, but... <laughs> this guy has no HP. Oh my god, no! Neither does this guy. <laughs> Bleed! <laughs> well, GG. That was an interesting invasion. What happened to the other two?